<sighs> what up? It's uh, 20 to 3. And we've been here since like 8. And Anna's going in at 4. So, we've got about an hour and 20 to wait. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to do a hotel. No, not a hotel. Even though it seems like a hotel room, a hospital room workout. Which is going to be based around press ups and close grip press ups to hit the chest and the tries from all different angles without any machines. But before we do that, we've got to get some Utopia time going. Utopia time, baby. baby. So, that is what we're doing. One scoop. And I'll be cracking into it because I've only done two workouts, two shitty workouts in five days and I'm really hating that. So hopefully I get a good pump and um, talk to you later on. Peace. All right, guys. Anna has officially gone into the theater and I have officially just hit some triceps. So I just, I did 15 sets of close grip push-ups. I'm not gonna hit chest. I'm gonna do chest, I don't know, later or tomorrow. But I uh, definitely got a good pump. Feels good to get some blood back in the tries. So now, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's over here. Look for some gains. I'm gonna get exactly what I got earlier, which is, If it focus, chicken breast, which comes with buttered vegetables and sauce. And that was absolutely delicious and clean as fuck. So I'm going to get one of those as well as some sort of omelette, like I got yes, uh, this morning. And a Diet Coke to finish. So there's Anna's bed waiting for her. It's, uh, what's the time? It's like 3.30 and she should be out by about 7, 7.30. So I'm gonna get this food, and then I'm actually gonna head down to the mall um, and have a look around and uh, come back. All right, I got cut off there, not sure what happened, but ordered the food. I won't show you this meal because you just saw it before, earlier today. Um, just, <laughs> just did a couple more sets. So I think we're at about 18 sets of close grip tricep Press ups, but they are a fantastic exercise. I mixed it up between close, uh, closed fist in a neutral grip and, well, a neutral hand position, and then also flat palm to the floor in a position like that. So, uh, hit all, all parts of the tries, feels good, but it's, it's definitely nothing compared to a gym workout. So, hopefully, tomorrow I'll get you know, my first real gym workout, and I need to fucking train legs, man. That's what I'm stressing about the most, because I don't want to lose any muscle on my legs at all. I want my legs to stay. All right, guys, so I'm just here down in the lobby uh, using the computer because I wanted to change the thumbnails on a couple of my uh, YouTube videos. So I just put up the 10% body fat uh, in good lighting. I put up the 10% body fat in bad lighting a few days ago. Uh, pretty good response, 8 likes, 120 views, it's better than most of my other videos, so um, you know, thanks for that, thanks for the support, but I am putting up the other one now, changing the thumbnail, and um, just having a wee browse on Facebook, and then I'm going to head down to the mall and get something to eat, because I didn't have anything before, so I'm still, still pretty damn hungry, the pump's gone, as you guys know, but I am feeling lean. I am sticking to the diet, and that is the main thing, man. If I get back to, as I've said, if I get back to Australia in better condition than I came on this holiday, it's a success. So I'm just going to finish up here, and I'll uh, see you guys when I get some food. And I've got to keep looking at the fucking lens right here. All right, so we finally got out of there. That is Phuket. International Hospital and I am going to find something to eat because I'm starving so to me 
it looks like we've got one mall called the Big C, which has too many nice things to eat. So I'm not going to go there because there's actually a bigger one. It's actually a much bigger mall, um, probably the biggest in Phuket, called Central Festival. And that is just down that way. So I'm going to go there now and have a look around. I actually went there last time I was in Thailand, but I was only in Phuket for the day, so I didn't have too much time. But uh, I'm going to go back there now and see what, see what they got to offer. Oh yeah? Anyone want a scooter? Definitely the preferred mode of transport around here and I can see why. The roads are crazy. So Central Festival is actually in two buildings split between this one and this one and connected by an overbridge over there. So I think first I'm going to go in this way. I don't know if you can see, but there's a security fucking metal detector as you come in. I've never seen that in a shopping mall before. So, these kind of stalls are probably your equivalent of the stalls you see on the side of the street. But most of the other shops are just your normal, um, everyday mall sort of shops. I don't think the prices are going to be any cheaper. Uh, last time I bought some glasses from here actually, and they were still Ray-Bans, real ones. Although people, people, actually, funnily enough, I think that's the store that I got them from. But I'm not going to get any this time. I want to get some food. A lot of bamboo here. Hmm. Yeah, doubt it. And guys, you know what? I'm gonna hit you with some real talk right now. There's so many roided up fucking freaks walking around here. Quite clearly on steroids, they look mean as hell. They got a bad, you know, a, a, a dirty look on their face. It looks like they're about to smash someone. And you know, when I see that shit, it just makes me so content and happy that I don't need to deal with that shit, man. Fuck steroids, bruh. Yeah, it gives you a good physique, but it's gonna fuck up your mental space as well. And it just ain't worth it. Not at the moment, anyway. Nah. I'm happy with my gains, just the way they are. Mm. They got cars in this place? Nope. Nope. Yeah, nah. So this store is called H&M. I actually came here last time and bought a couple of things. It's a pretty fucking sweet store, eh? It's kind of like a mixture of Culture Kings and Cotton On. So it's cheaper, but it's still pretty, you know, cool looking shit. So. Buy something, who knows? But once again, you know, the prices are they're not that cheap, but it's cool stuff. Like drop, you know, drop teas, would be a pretty nice t shirt actually. So 
so I've decided I'm going to hit Sizzler. Yep. So I'm pretty sure how they do it here is you've got your meat, which you choose, and then you've got one of these four sides, which is fries, rice, baked potato, or grilled vegetables. And I believe I'm gonna go grilled vegetables. And you get as much salad as you like. So I'm gonna load up on that, and also fruit, um, and a Diet Coke. But as far as the meat goes, I think, I'm gonna go for some sort of grilled chicken. Yes, I am filming myself. You don't need to look at me. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll let you know. That looks decent. Nice and lean, I hope. Oh, and I bought a t-shirt as well from H&M. Um, just a basic drop tee in grey. But seriously, the, the fabric feels so fucking good. And honestly, like if I was ever gonna make a clothing brand or anything like that, I'd be coming to places like Thailand or Bangladesh to actually experience the fabric. Um, and I looked at it and it's 60% cotton, 40% polyester. So I think that's the on point combination. And it must be cheap too. Much better. So, first things first, one Diet Coke, probably my 20th of the holiday, but it is keeping me on track, so I don't really give a fuck. And one complimentary piece of cheese and butter toast, which they really shouldn't have brought out because I'm about to smash it. Oh man, either I'm starving, or that's the best piece of toast I've ever had in my life. Boom. Gains. And I must say, it's none of this McDonald's bullshit. This actually looks exactly like the picture. So well done, Sizzler. Well done. Alright. We are back. I was actually really worried that Anna would be here before I got back. But she's not, so that's good. So I'm just going to chill. Definitely, definitely feeling full. Don't know about that meat, I really don't know, I just, I think, I think the fat content uh, may have been a little bit high, but if I do decide to have a meal later on tonight, it's going to be one of those chicken breast meals that I had this morning, because they are the cleanest and the best meal I've had so far. It's a real chicken breast on the plate, rather than whatever you, you might get, so, yeah, chill time, chill out time. Here she is. Hey. We'll be okay. 